everyone. We are at Galactic Fest. Mm. <laughs> 2023. This is the con's first year, and they trusted me with a mic. We are live-ish. <laughs> So this is going to be popping up on our YouTube and probably maybe TikTok as well. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about Geek Colorado. I know some of you have probably stumbled across our page, seen my random videos. I'm like, none of this really fits together. Well, that's because to me, Geek Colorado is kind of a representation of my experiences with geekness and geek life. Because to me, geekness, it's, it's gotten cool over the years. But for me, it's been really a lifestyle. Um, we kind of saw that a little bit with Big Bang Theory, where you actually kind of got into the lives of geeks and saw how much it pervaded every single thing they really did, be it their work as scientists in higher ed, which, check, check, um, you know, to, you know, having D&D &D nights, check. Um, so it's like all these little boxes. And yes, I, I do feel that my life does represent Big Bang Theory, or really does replicated a bit um, just because um, if you're watching this and you don't necessarily know a bit about me I am the chief geek of Geek Colorado um, Julia Billerback I work in higher ed and then I do the geekness on the side but I've been a geek since I was three years old I was the kid of a geek um, my mother was always supportive and she even gave me her original Star Wars figures when I got old enough and she knew I wouldn't break them so to me, geekness has always been there. Um, like another thing that a lot of people don't necessarily know about me, I also started college when I was 12 and three quarters. So I was definitely kind of a Sheldon for a good chunk of my life. Um, but I've kind of broken out of that. I'm now a little bit more Leonard. Um, but with that, what Geek Colorado is, is it originally started in 2017 as The Conist. The Conist was happening during a time when I was working in higher education. I was super frustrated with my job at the time. Um, and also just not really having a voice. So the contest got off the ground, but then it kind of died. Cause I'm like, you know, what am I gonna do with this? It was just a blog. And then a while later in 2019, once again, feeling very voiceless in, you know, the sea of work, life, politics. And I'm just like, okay, I need to start getting my voice out there more. By this time, I'd already been doing a lot of geeky things, be it volunteering at cons, um, I'd already started brailing games for the blind, um, which I was doing that with an amazing person. Um, she hasn't necessarily given me the permission to use her name, so I'm not going to say who, um, but she was the mother of one of my high school friends that I started helping her um, brailing games um, so that she could play with her family and friends. And I was like, you know, this is really good information. I should start sharing this. So that was kind of the birth of Geek Colorado. And with that, I've always kind of made sure that there's this awareness of um, disability, different you know, ethnic groups, all of that kind of stuff, because that's always really been a part of geekiness. I mean, if you look at Gene Roddenberry and what he did with Star Trek, I mean, you know, we had the first biracial kiss on Star Trek, and it's just kind of all of these different things kind of leading together. So I'm like, geekness really is about diversity. So that's one of the things that we focus on. So you'll have everything on our webpage from our accessibility costumes every year that I cover to different topics. I know in our society right now, DEI is kind of a bad word. And I will admit there are very toxic forms of it. A lot of it's coming from people with HR perspectives versus actual cultural training. Like that's one of my very bad pet peeves I have. I'm both an anthropologist and a historian. And, you know, seeing people in HR running DEI is scary to me, you know, to say the least. So to me, when I'm approaching these things, I'm really looking at, you know, what's going on. I make sure on our website, um, Facebook, whatever it is, that we definitely have representation of people from all cultures, all backgrounds, basically everything we can to show that anyone can be a geek. Everyone is a geek. Um, even the word geek, like how do you define geek? Like I said, for me, it's a lifestyle. So it's not just, you know, you're a geek of one subject, which you can be. You can be you know, a Dungeons and Dragons geek, can be a Star Wars geek, but you can be a sports geek. Um, it was actually kind of funny, I got asked to actually define the word geek. And I was like, if you really know a subject matter and you really, really love it, and like you can rattle off stats about it, you're probably a geek of that subject. So like, for example, the person who was asking me was really, really into mountain climbing. 
and rock climbing. I'm like, if you can name other famous rock climbers, mountain climbers, like if you can like go over all the different gear, you know, and just start rattling off numbers on it, you're probably a geek. It's just not necessarily the way that we interpret it. Like you can be a football geek. So anyone can let their geek flag fly. You know, whatever it is, you know, whoever you are, enjoy being a geek. Because we all have that subject matter that makes us happy. If it's you going home at night and binging your favorite TV show, I mean, you could be a Sex in the City geek. That's your thing, do it. Um, so for me, that's why on our page, you'll see things like I love rocks. You will see us going to gym and mineral shows, doing all that kind of fun stuff. You'll see astronomy stuff pop up. Because to me, geek is who you are. So if you're a geek, stop by. We're always here for you. Thank you for tuning in.